This video recap is brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. It's been a while since Top Fuel has seen this kind of domination. Ten years ago to be exact, 16 rounds of competition, four consecutive event wins. Welcome to the world of Steve Torrance, which mandates if you lose a championship on the last day of the season, the next year you will win them all to leave no chance for a repeat. At the NHRA Carolina Nationals, Torrance extended his strong point lead by remaining undefeated in the countdown to the championship competition by beating a resurgent Brittany Force in the final round. Divine intervention might be Torrance's explanation of his domination. Steve, you think about where you were last season and where you are now. What has been the main factor for this domination in the countdown? Man, I tell you what, if you don't believe in God, you need to start because anything that we've done this year has been just truly a miracle. These Capco boys, they dig deep, and they've, they've, they've pushed the envelope everywhere. Richard Hogan, Bobby Lagana, everyone at home that, that is working so hard to keep us out here, thank every one of you guys. This is unreal. We've been 16 straight rounds in the countdown. I don't even know if that's ever been done, but man, this is unbelievable. Brittany, they got an awesome race car. It's coming back around, but uh, we're going to do everything we can to finish this thing out. Clay went out early today. That's just another blessing. We got to we gotta keep on them. There's uh, two more races left. We're going to try to win both of them. Ron Caps made the most of his 700th round of NHRA competition, scoring his third win of the season by stopping J.R. Todd in the final round. Todd was first out of the gate, but when he smoked the tires just shy of mid-track, allowed Caps to drive by for his 60th career funny car win. You talked win. earlier how the run over Robert Height was the run of your season. How big was today for you? Huge. We, you know, our backs were against the wall. And at this point in the season, we just got to lay everything on the line right here. This is this is it. Night vision, lamps, headlights. We're making America safer with these headlights from Napa Auto Parts. But every time we bring his paint scheme out like this, we either win or do very well. In Vegas, we're bringing the Pinzoil car back out again with, that we won Seattle with. So I'm so excited to do this for Napa. Uh, Ron told her, I can't say enough, to run another 80, 330 plus. Uh, the car was a handful every round. And... Uh, God, it's so much fun right now. Love everybody at home, man. I can't wait to get there with a Wally. There's your Wally. Admittedly, Jason Line hasn't had the best season of his career. But for one race, an event staged in his backyard, the Summit-sponsored driver found his groove as he upended point leader Tanner Gray in the final. The victory was his first of the season and 50th of his career. He's now won a race in 15 consecutive seasons. That when the racing is gone, all that will be left is your family. You get this win after a tough year right in front of your now home crowd and in front of your family. How meaningful is that? It's, uh, I, I'm not an emotional guy, but um, this is really cool. And uh, I want to thank all the folks in Summit for sticking with me. And uh, 50th Wally goes to them for sure. Without them, none of this could happen. I want to thank Ken, Ken and Judy, everybody in my family, everybody stuck with me. And, uh, and uh, the few fans that I got left. So uh, Mellow Yellow Summit, everybody... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm as excited as I get. Thank you. Rostock Motorcycle is in the midst of a dog-eat-dog -dog kind of championship battle. For the fourth time in four countdown races, there's a new point leader, Matt Smith. Just one race after losing in the first round in Dallas, battled his way back into the championship lead by stopping Chip Ellis, who red-lighted in the final. Smith carries a 41-point lead into Las Vegas. Well, after a round one loss in Dallas, Matt, you're going to leave here the points leader. How tough is this battle going to be in Pro Stock Motorcycle? This battle is awesome right now between uh, the top four of us. Uh, can't say enough about my sponsors, Greg Butcher, Lee Performance, Lucas Oil, Mark Stock, Seth. Thank you all, everybody, for having me. Dog, he builds these chassis. They're badass chassis. Thank you, man. Woo! Yeah! Pro Modified came down to a battle of turbocharged entries, and it was Rick Hoard picking up his first career NHRA Pro Modified victory, stopping number one qualifier Sidney Frigo in the final round. In top alcohol dragster Megan Meyer fell behind Joey Severance at the start of their final round race, but never gave up as she passed him for her third win of the season. Not only did Sean Bellamyur clinch the 2018 NHRA Top Alcohol Funny Car title, he also grabbed his sixth NHRA national event victory this season in stopping Phil Burkhart in the final round. 
There is a full slate of Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series action at Z-Max Dragway as well. In competition eliminator, Art Hodges made the most of a quicker reaction time to stop Danny Holt in the final. It was Herbie Null Jr. scoring his fourth career Superstock victory, shutting down Joe Lisa in an all-Camaro final. Over in Stock Eliminator, Terry Taylor made the most out of his first final round since 1994, scoring a perfect reaction time in his classic Corvette to win his first national event when Andy Fetch spun the tires. Also winning his first career NHRA national event title, Corey Manuel stopped seasoned veteran Tom Stalbuck to claim the Super Cup title. Joe Fisher picked up his second career NHRA national event win, this time in Supergas, when Phil Smita took too much stripe and broke out. Top dragster titan Anthony Bertozzi from the number one qualifying spot picked up his 20th career victory, stopping J.B. Strasweg in the final. Rounding out the sportsman winners, it was Ronnie Proctor securing his second career NHRA top sportsman title, vaulting himself number one in the national points, defeating Jackie Robeson in the final. The NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series takes a weekend off before heading to Las Vegas for Stop 23 on the 24 race schedule. Make sure you check out competitionplus.com daily for the latest in drag racing news and like us on Facebook. This is Kathy Fisher reporting for Competition Plus TV.